Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Captain Radar. Today we're going to be working on a 2014 Mac Mini. We're going to be doing a clean install and installing some other things on it. So join me, why don't you? Okay, so let's jump right into it. As you see, I'm running a 2014 Mac Mini 2.6 gigahertz dual core processor, i5, 16 gigs of RAM, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've done an NVMe additional drive to it, and I, I'm i guessing I took out the other hard drive that originally came in it, which is whatever. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing a clean install. And I'm probably going to be loading the same so uh, single piece of software that's on it right now. So yeah, let's let's go right into it. So I just plugged in my USB drive with macOS Monterey. Uh, the only way that I know that you can do a clean install is by using the USB or recovery mode. I prefer the USB because then I know I'm getting the OS that I actually want. Because Apple likes doing their own thing. Who would have thunk? Um, yeah, so let's, okay, <laughs> so let's reboot. So uh, as you see, for some reason in Mac OS, when you put the daughter board for the NVMe, it shows up as a external drive when it's clearly not. Whatever, Apple. Uh, so let's boot into Mac OS Monterey, well, the installer, I should say. So if you wanted to do it, if you wanted to install macOS Monterey without you changing anything, without you deleting the drive, you'd go straight here. But since we're going to be deleting everything on that drive first, let's show all devices because I'm an animal that way. Erase. I should also preference, not preference, I should also say this, that you should have a backup of it somewhere. If you don't, that's on you. Also, the reason why I didn't show how to make the USB drive is because it's all over the internet and I think everyone knows how to search how to make a Mac OS install the uh, USB. It's not that hard. It's even, it's, you can, I think you can even do it on Windows now. But that's all your preference, whatever you want to install it on. In the future, there also may be a video on how to install macOS on Proxmox. So, I don't know why this is taking so long to erase. There we go. Now it's erasing everything. I swear, Envy Amigas. People say it's uh, fast, but could be actually really slow. Could be the illusion that it's fast. Can press continue, or it could also be that USB drive. It is USB two. I don't bother with USB three for install media. There's no point. Comment down below if you disagree with me or agree with me. Also, let me know what you want to see. What videos you would like to see me do down below. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So after the initial install, it will reboot. And as it's rebooting, it will continue the install because it's like Windows where it'll do the first half of the install where you can see it, do a graphical, whatever. And the second is as basic as it gets. So once it passes this, well, you'll see in a few seconds that it's going to go to halfway and then pop down with whatever time remaining. So once that's done, I will be back and we will do the initial install. Now we're going to go through the 
Okay. Oh, I thought that. Never mind. <laughs> what? All I did was hit okay. Back OS has never done this to me. Oh, okay, dear bud. You good? You good, homie? I. Okay. Yeah, this is all pretty simple if you need to do it. If you need to read it, you read it. Uh, I may set up my Apple ID later with it. Actually, no, I won't. This machine I don't want connected to my Apple ID for... for simplicity reasons. And you put in whatever your username should be and whatever your password you want to be. If your Mac has a camera, if you are set up with your Apple ID, your Memojis, whatever, would show up here. Uh, let's see. No, see, is it? Yeah, they're suggested photos now. Uh, let's go with, let's go with this one. I know I'm going to get people yelling at me for that. I'm also going to get people yelling at me for this. Personally, I think you should send it to the your the analytics to Apple and to the developers because if the app crashes or if something with the OS crashes and you don't send it, I see that you don't have the right to complain that the OS crashes. That's just me. I mean, if you, again, if you, if your opinion is different than mine, post it in the comments. I would love to read it. And I hate light mode. Oh, so much better. Even though that background's going to get changed to an all black background because performance, even though it probably does nothing to do with the A. Hey! First things first is command E to eject that. Command or Apple uh, colon, not colon, uh, that swoosh thing right next to the M. I forget what it's called. Comma. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, person in the back over there. And I'm just going to turn on all the things that I normally turn on. Command W. Apple or command space to do set. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Command Q, command space. Uh, yeah, command space. System setting, well, preferences. Let me get it out of the way. I know I could have done it from the dock, but oh well. I hate. No, not that one. I keep forgetting what it's called. I hate this one so much. The show recent apps opened. Why? Why does that need to be a thing? Tell me. I've, I know I'm probably a youngin compared to a lot of people that have been using macOS, but I've been using macOS since 10.6. My opinion, well, that's one of the worst features that they've ever added to macOS. I'm also one of the weirdos that display seconds. Uh, I know it's that. I was going to say, if you can't tell, I'm a... I definitely prefer macOS when it comes to... Uh, nope. I know I could have just pressed it. Oh, I have to change the command for... Yeah, I mean, you're sort of just seeing the initial stuff that I do on a lot of my machines. Uh, keyboard settings, shortcuts, because I, I use Pro Tools a lot, which is an audio, a digital audio workstation and command space or Apple space is, if you don't have the numeric keypad, is what you use to initialize the recording, like to start recording in Pro Tools. 
So I always change it to option or alt space. So if I press that, it opens up spotlight, which I use spotlight for everything, but I usually use, uh, Alfred. I prefer Alfred. And then let's do add remote management. I have to change the name of the PC of, well, not, sorry. Well, it is a PC. It just runs a different OS that a lot of people don't like. Let's change it to pro pre center mini. Let's jump into, nope, wrong one. Safari, ah, eh, whatever it is. Someone will post that in the, uh, whatever it is below. So I can, so I can learn it. So let's install ProBesenter. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go to downloads for ProBesenter, which if you guys want tutorials or the basics for ProBesenter, let me know, post a comment, like, and I will, I will gladly do tutorials on ProBesenter. I think it's a great piece of software. I use it. I, I've been using it since ProBesenter 4. So if that gives you an idea of how long I've been using ProBesenter, I think my favorite had, had to be, which I know, like, yeah, and this is also very controversial because next to nobody liked it. I liked six. No, I like the ProBesenter 6. Wait, do I need? No, I shouldn't need it. I was trying to think if I needed NDI for what I want to do. I shouldn't. There. No, I shouldn't. Well, if I do, then I'll go and download it. Yeah. Because it's a fresh install slash initial setup for ProBesenter. Oh, yeah, I need to... Oh, no, it's not that password. It's this password. Again, I will do a whole... If you want me to, I'll do a whole tutorial on how I set up ProBesenter for my live streams, which when I get a lot... Actually, when I get a license, I'll start using ProBesenter again. Well, when I mean a license, I mean I'll get... When I get a personal license... Because I want to personally get a license for ProBesenter because I enjoy the product. I There's so much that I use with it that... Thank you very much for watching. I'm Captain Radar, and I will see you in the next one.